I'm videoing this because it's the first view I had of this area when I came to Innsbruck yesterday and had asked a woman for directions back to Sills Park where I could catch the O bus out to my hostel. And if you're wondering why I record this kind of information because it puts me exactly, almost exactly back in the mental framework and context of my point in the trip. Technically she told me to go down to this yellow building and I think was turned right or left, but that's exactly where we ended our walk early this morning. Continued from there. My first tourist view of this large central square and we'll walk down it on both sides and get a feel for it. I'll walk straight down through the middle looking from right to left for that, which is interesting. This is the large square that we'll explore. This is the Spittelkirsch. I think that means church or something like that. Power. I think they call those coffin edges around that floor. Was. I'm guessing it is that golden orb up there or the carving beneath it that references back to 1744. We'll go take a closer look at that whole scheme. Looks like Ludwig van Toven. Looks like Ludwig Beethoven. Yes, that's the 1744 reference, I believe. These panels on another building. They look like they were made of wood, but I don't know what they're really made of. Suggests it might have been a tavern. Grapes do the same thing, only with a uh, religious sanctity. And try to explain the connections here. It's the detail underneath. I would take a closer look if I could at whatever those devices are. There are four of them on quadrants. Pretty little buildings squished in between these others. Seems to have some real novelty to it. Particularly that part right in there, whatever that is. Wow. The Hope buildings like this have been preserved. Remember the square like this design or theme like this was very, very important in Prague. It was the site of its revolution from Ceausescu or whatever his name was, the dictator. Look how it tries to achieve the 3D with the graphics. You know what beautiful buildings they tore down to put up that modern thing. I'm too cynical to believe they didn't. We're at the end of this square now. We'll pan just to look at what the past looked like. 
plains land low over in this big building which is otherwise not terribly interesting except to those who love that era of plain architecture I'll call it and nevertheless is this attempt to really dramatize the front entry and for the trap family at one time this was pretty darn important symbol we enter into this just so we can see what remains compared to so much of the world's architecture absolutely drab except for those two little balconies and probably a beautiful garden in the back we'll go back and see if we can look entered into the sculpture garden i'm sure all of this was part of this family's estate and perhaps the original buildings looked at least slightly more interesting with that roof design. Things that her hair is in the top knot form. Very powerful mug leg muscles. Traction of the legs, or the knees at least, and yet the stretching, severe stretching of the feet it's interesting. Her face from here just seems to be almost calm. As though this were some kind of yoga exercise. This is interesting because <clears throat> this is utilizing almost the exact configuration of some of the ponds that you saw at the Indian temples in New Delhi. I mean, yeah, New Delhi. Interesting. Now they were smooth surface and sometimes they had a little call it a sitting step uh, or bench at the bottom that wrapped all the way around. But almost the same idea. Kind of architecture seems to void of interest. I mean, almost with my back against that building at the back of this compound and maybe this gives us an idea of the size of the compound these people uh, controlled as their palace. Life here was luxury at its best of the day, but was it also a prison of some sort? Doesn't seem so from the movies, you see. They always seem to paint it as what an incredible world. That's a cute little porch up there, but notice this is the back of that building that's next to this one that faces out onto this main street so it must have been a palace in its own right was this the back of it or was this a remodeled modern residential version and what about those structures in the back with the high steep roofs these sculptures that portray human elements like this large upper torso are strange because of the purposeful truncating of the bodies and yet this hand here again the face seems most peaceful presumably many of these buildings were former palaces or homes to important families you can't shortchange or denigrate the impressiveness of them another church I'll get the name of it and try to get in in a moment interesting kind of art.
It's interesting when cities like Jackson or Innsbruck either abandoned responsibility or shirked it. At least the color may add something to the architecture. And here we have a great arch, or an arch. 